Hey, what's going on, guys? That dude, Siraj. How you hanging? I know it's been a while. I don't know. We all working. It's all tough out here. Here is Sunday evening. Sun's probably going to go down shortly and, you know, just not getting out cracking. But, hey, that's how it is. We all work hard and uh, we play when we can get to play. But uh, I got something I wanted to uh, review. We got this guy here. It's uh, a Mako. On here it says Mako Fab Defense 556 pouch. Uh, it's made for of course 556 pouch and this is a this is a Mac pull Mac P Mac and you can see goes right in here and there's even a positive click down at the end. Now I was looking to see where that click was coming from. Um, it's really just these two tabs here. Uh, they get pushed out. I don't know how well you can see. Ah, well, actually, let me get my arm out the way. You see those little bulges down there? There's one there, and then there's one there. All that does, it just pushes up against here, and then uh, eventually it just kind of slides, uh, I guess, over it fully, and then it slides all the way. So it's not really like it's locking into anything, but because of, I guess, really the... Uh, diameter the close diameter of the of the well itself and then having that extra pressure of those tabs pushing up against it it locks it in very well um you know that's i'm sure i could there you go so i can i can i can make it come out but it's uh especially in the upward position where it's it's gonna be it's it's i mean that's oh, kind of came out but anyway you get the point it, it takes a little bit of work to get the sucker out um and uh, like I said, it's on here. It actually doesn't say Mako at all, but this is the packaging here, the Mako Group. You might have seen some other uh, pistol grips and bipod grips and whatnot. Those might look familiar. Uh, the pistol grips there, the uh, Magwell grip there. So all of the stuff is made by the Mako Group. Um, heard good things, heard bad things. You know, this is, I think the first thing that I got from them. Well, my thing was, you know, <coughs> sometimes I like to run my AR and still practice my mag changes but I don't always want to have my vest on all the time earplug don't always want to have my vest on all the time um, so this was you know a possible option the reviews were up and down um, but also you know if you're running any type of AR competition or I guess maybe three gun or something whatever you know runs an AR or, you know use a 556 magazine um, this would go good because you can you know you can stack them on the belt you can use one, you can use two, you can get three. You can have the sucker going all around you if you want to get crazy with it. But, uh, you know, I figured it was it was worth the money, I think. And I meant to actually bring the price tag. I'll annotate it uh, probably here, uh, how much this actually costs. Um, but it's worth it. I'm probably going to get another one. And uh, just give you guys a quick demonstration. Now, going on the belt, as you can see, we're still on the mound here. Um, it's not the easiest. But it goes on. Actually, the first time I had a little more difficulty with it. But also to come off is just like any uh, any other you know paddle holster. You kind of got to pull out and then go up. And I like to kind of rotate them till they you know till they come out. And there you go. But as long as it's on, it's not going to work itself off. I mean, it's 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 pretty much there. Even pulling, I can put a significant amount of pressure on it going outwards, and it's a good strong plastic. Um, a good strong polymer, don't say plastic. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm a lot. It's been a while since I've done a video, my bad. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty comparable to, I would say, like the Uncle Mike's uh, pistol holsters that I got in terms of the uh, build quality of the polymer that's used. So anyway, of course I got my old Delton, still rocking, still doing well. No complaints, no hassles, no nothing. Just Need to get out here more. All right, I'm gonna go on there, on there. And actually, you know what? Let me grab my eyes real quick. Be right back. All right, then we're back. So what we're gonna do? Um, just gonna go two shots, bag change, two shots, and let's see how good this guy retracts. Just really smooth and not. Cause, I mean, I played around with it briefly, but I haven't actually, you know, done any acid shooting with it. So let's see if it feels natural or not. All right, safety off. We got one in the chamber. We're good. Might still shoot kind of straight. That's good. Felt natural. 
I didn't feel any resistance. Um, there was nothing there at all. Felt good. Now, of course, I'm going to go back and do this about nine, ten more times before I switch to shooting something else. But, uh, but I like this guy. Honestly, I would say if you had two of these, um, you can get a lot of work done, you know, practice-wise. Uh, I, I, I like it. I like it. I definitely like it. Mako's done a good job with it. I don't mean, I mean, it's snug and it's real close to the body. It doesn't, it doesn't stick out. It doesn't protrude. It doesn't feel uh, unnatural in any way. Of course, it's light. I mean, it's gonna be light, but it's, uh, I mean, it's right, it's right there where you need it. It's right there. It really is. It really is. It's right there where you need it. And it's, it's at a good height, at least for me. I mean, I'm five towels. Some people say I look tall on the videos. Others. You know, I don't say anything at all, but I mean, I'm, I'm about 5'10". Uh, well, a little more, I'm more like about 5'11", but you know, I don't know, I'm not that old, but it seems like every time I go back and get measured, I, I shrink. At one point, I was actually measured a six foot, but that's beside the point. I don't know what happened. But I like where the height is. I don't have to go in too high, you know, because sometimes even with the vest, you got to kind of reach up. I've got to kind of lean over and reach up and get it out the vest. Here, it's a real, it's a real natural, as if you were going for your pistol or your sidearm, it's a real easy snatch right out. It's, it's natural, you can hit it and come out. You can hit it and get in there. So, I like it. I think there's gonna be another one, another one uh, coming soon. So, it has my vote. Anyway, I noticed the magic to YouTube is keeping your videos short and sweet if you want people to watch them. So. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. That's for the Mako Fab Defense uh, 556 uh, magazine holster pouch, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it got a good thumbs up for me. So check it out, Amazon.com or pretty much every, anywhere else. But you know, hey, I'm like everybody else. I got bills to pay, so less money I got to pay for accessories, the better. Um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Leave your comments, uh, questions, whatever you got. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Be safe. Happy shooting. Peace.